The media might have found their new Russia hoax just in time for the next election. At a rally this weekend, Trump called out any NATO member that doesn't pay their fair share. Roll it. I said, everybody's going to pay. They said, well, if we don't pay, are you still going to protect us? I said, absolutely not. Well, sir, uh, if we don't pay and we're attacked by Russia, will you protect us? I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. <laughs> Now, the media claims he's saying Russia should invade more countries. But what he's really saying, if we protect you and you don't pay, then where is the incentive for you to pay? Enough with us protecting these Euro deadbeats. A deal is a deal. It's bad enough we have to put up with soccer and women with armpit hair. <laughs> it's the two things Europe brought us. <laughs> Pay your 2% of GDP to national defense. We're not your daddy. Or better yet, defend yourselves. It's like when Kilmeade keeps using my Netflix password. <laughs> Just pay the damn membership. The dude watches 50 Shades of Grey on repeat. <laughs> so all Trump's saying is pay your bills. And now that's Trump wants Russia to invade. It's the typical media. They've done this before. Trump says let's buy Greenland. Trump says let's drink bleach. Trump says Nazis are fine people. Speaking of, at least some people may finally be admitting how these hoax have duped them. Take actor Michael Rappaport. You remember Michael from his greatest role, yelling incoherently at people on Twitter? He admitted to participating in the left's hoax regarding Trump, calling white nationalists very fine people following the riots in Charlottesville. You've also acknowledged yeah. that, you know, that one thing about the Charlottesville that, that, that I ranted about. Yes. And I was wrong because he said the, the both sides, you know, there's good people on both sides. And when you see the full quote, yeah, yeah, it, that wasn't what, what he said. And, 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 you know, I, I ranted on him hard for that mm -hmm. hard. There's some video about it, whatever. Yeah. I mean, I ranted hard because I was like, what are you talking about, man? Because you got played. Mm, so there's the DNA. <laughs> All right. He can't hear you, but okay. But that's the DNA of a hoax right there. And that was the hoax treated as fact that Joe Biden claims made him decide to run. It was a lie repeated and amplified ad nauseum like every other hoax. They isolate liberals from outside ideas and coerce them to believe the lie. And then the dupes like rap report literally have to be hit over the head with the truth and not by Nigerian bodybuilders paid off by Jesse Smollett. <laughs> but juicy, juicy, damn it. <laughs> but we got to give credit to Rappaport for owning up to his mistakes. He's now slightly less of a douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> Tyrus, uh, could Rappaport be on the road to enlightenment? No, he still trashes us. He'll take something out of the show, and then he'll go like, these bastards. Hey, if you're talking about me, I'm winning. So go ahead. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah if, they're, if they're not talking about you, you're not doing nothing right. Uh, if I don't make media at least once every month for threatening to murder my kids, I'm not doing my job. So. Here, I'm, this isn't going to be popular because what I'm finding out uh, in the Republican Party is very much like sports. We don't know how to play with a lead. Yeah. We literally had a gift dropped in our lap. Mm -hmm. He's too dumb to be president. Mm -hmm. And President Trump goes out, and while we all knew what he meant... <laughs> he just changed the news feed. Yeah. When we get the lead, <laughs> that's not the time to go on the offense. <laughs> that, no more rallies. Every, <laughs> every time Joe speaks, take two weeks off. Yeah. <laughs> because we're no longer talking about the most dangerous man ever around flashy red buttons. Mm -hmm. Everyone's talking about Rush because... It's the other side that needs those stories because unlike what Kat pointed out, people don't read the full quote. Michael Rapp, yeah, he'll apologize again for saying that President Trump was using Russia as a thug mm. to extort money from NATO. But then after the election, like, you know what? I was wrong. <laughs> Too late. So this one needs to happen. Mm. Mr. President Trump, two weeks after every time Biden speaks. No rallies, no talking. We have a lead. Let's keep the lead. Yeah. Yep. Cat. To Tyrus's point, it's it's like Trump 
doesn't ha doesn't even have to campaign. His numbers are up. So should he take Tyrus's advice and just kind of lay low? Do the old Trump in the type bike. <laughs> No, I mean, like, of course, but, <laughs> but I don't think he will. <laughs> because you're, he loves it. <laughs> like, he's not like, oh, no, people are mad. <laughs> I'm starting to think he loves it, right? Yeah. Um, he kind of thrives on it. And, I, and look, I, I agree that not the best look. I think the word encourage, not the best word. Everybody coming out about who is afraid for the safety of soldiers, I think, should be more concerned about how dangerous it is for them to be in war zones. <laughs> I think that we, I don't, we, we got to this place where we're just paying for all these wars and all these other countries mm -hmm. where it was never supposed to be like that. Congress yeah. was supposed to declare war because it was supposed to be a serious thing. We weren't supposed to be like financially dabbling in all these wars around the globe, like some kind of real estate portfolio, right? Yeah. So I think that that's the conversation I want to have, but that's not the conversation that anybody wants to have because I guess it's we're, people see it as too far gone, but I'm not giving up on that. Don't give up, Kat. Thank you. <laughs> Get rid of her. Yeah. Uh, Drea, this is almost like what we were talking about in the A block. It's like if the media pushes out all these fake stories, it's like you buy into it and then you find out later that you, you regret the vote because you, th you believe something else. I, you know, I kept saying while well, Trump was in office, you know, look, at least everybody's awake yeah. right now. Everyone's awake. When a Democrat comes in, everybody goes back to sleep. Mm -hmm. um, totally agree. It, it's so true. <laughs> and I, I was awake during that time, but focused on the wrong stuff, which was so strange for me because I was so against the whole Bush administration mm -hmm. back in, the, in, in those days. And I feel like the Biden administration is like an extension of it mm -hmm. almost in some, in some crazy way. But that's just my opinion. I, I think that most people don't do any of the research, especially when, the, with the whole Russia-Ukraine thing, too. Like, wh why wasn't anybody hip to 2014? Like, yeah. And that was all Biden, and that was all, you know, marching orders. And I was so confused about that. And I loved getting in an, in an Uber with my Russian driver, or, I mean, this is unpopular, I know, and I already <laughs> said that I was upset that I voted for Biden out here. I'm, I'm gonna get further canceled today. I'm already shadow banned everywhere. My life is over. I can't act anymore. I understand this, this is the final nail in the coffin for me tonight. I'll probably endorse Trump by the end of the night, and it's gonna be done. Oh my God! Listen, I love Kennedy too. I know everybody probably has issues about that. I, I always, I'm always curious why people don't even talk about him. Yeah. Like you, there's all these conversations about Trump versus Biden, but no one even mentioned that Michael Rappaport, that whole interview with Patrick Beck David, no one mentions Kennedy. Yeah. I'm like, where is he in all of this? Because no one reads what Kennedy's about. Yeah. No I, one... I, I think Kennedy is, uh, I used to not, I couldn't stand him because I thought he was way too, but he's, so, he's probably, one of the best, I mean, people in, in yeah. out there, I think. Just want straight, on your side. honest, honest. And, and by the way, people yeah. have to understand that he sees the best in other people. He never takes any group of people down like the way Biden He's did. He's classy. Yeah. Classy. You know, unlike uh, uh, the, op well, the opposite of classy, Michael. <laughs> um, <laughs> What is your take on this? You, as a transient, you often turn tricks <laughs> for uh, bean money. Uh, how do you feel about uh, Trump saying, look, you should pay for what you get? You don't like being stiffed. I don't. <laughs> like, when I'm out there in front of a 7-Eleven, <laughs> yes. saying, hey, pal, you got an extra smoke, and they just walk by like I didn't say anything, I get miffed. <laughs> Um, I, first of all, God bless Michael Rappaport for making the video and owning up. I, he, that should be his, his own YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Michael Rappaport explains the obvious. <laughs> yeah. You know? It turns out, during an eclipse, the sun don't really disappear. It's just behind something. I can't, I can't believe he didn't do it sooner. And, and this is how, this is how far Trump must be ahead in the polls, because the media is already at that spot where they're taking everything literally. Yeah. Right? That's when he's right about to win, when he can't say anything without them thinking, oh, he really means it. Yeah. And if this is what it takes to get NATO to pay their fair share, I think it's awesome. Mm -hmm. they, it's like, it's like when you're going to a big dinner, you know, and you're like, you agree you're going to split the check, and then you got Germany and a bunch of other places going, oh, double up on the appetizers. We want champagne. <laughs> and then it's supposed to be an even split.
that. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Up next, time for another roast of a CNN host. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.